Hey, what's going on, family? I'm back. I'm going to talk about Snowflake today. I'm trying to show you what the smart money is coming in and buying up this stock without the confusion. So welcome to the channel. To those who are new, who, who is your first time clicking on my content, man, welcome. This is what I do. I come through and do price predictions, trying to prepare each and every one of you all as to how to play the market without all of the complexities, without all of the complications, without all of the confusion that so many other people got you all following and doing on YouTube. So hit the like button, should have been also subscribe here to my channel because one thing that I've noticed as I've been conducting my content and watching other people is that they usually give you all information that is lagging, that is old, and that has already occurred in the market. So you will always be following the news. That's one thing that I don't push here. I try to get ahead of the game. I try to get ahead of the news so that we can profit from the market because if you guys don't know this by now, money moves before the news, right? So those insiders, those people who have the ear to the wall, to the street, know when these things are about to occur, right? They get in position. So when the news actually breaks on mainstream media and, and on social media platforms, they're able to ride the news to the higher prices to where they expect the market to move. Let me show you all this because I'm going to show you all the snowflake today that the market may have actually bottomed and that the buyers, smart money, those who understand that, yeah, I might need to buy the stock here around this price are doing. You can see where they are located, right? So let's talk. Look at this. Okay, first things first. Can we tell, right? We could tell that the overall sentiment into the market in snowflake is down. Like, let's keep it real. We understand. We're not going to be fooled. We're not going to be tricked. We're not going to think that the market in Snowflake is a buy right now. I get it. We're not going to follow that sentiment, right? Many of the YouTubers, if you were to listen to a lot of the advice or a lot of the things that they say, many of them say dollar cost average, right? Meaning whenever the price in a stock goes down, you want to buy more of it, right? And then the market goes down again. You want to buy more of it. You, you want a dollar cost average in to lower your cost basis as to your overall position sizing. I get it. But then they tell you to come in and buy the dips. Well, the market in Snowflake since November of last year has fell from where last trade was, has already fallen 62 and a half percent. Why are you going to buy that dip? You guys have seen your positions dip as well like it does make any sense your overall position if you bought the dip in snowflake has dipped as well you don't want your profitability to dip you want your profitability to rip that's how you want to let this game work for you so they were outside enormously wrong for trying to tell you all the dollar cost average and telling you all to buy these dips now you may begin to see these same youtubers <laughs> have thumbnails and, and create content to say don't buy the dip oh now you want to say don't buy the dip especially after you've seen the market fall 60 75 80 percent now you want to create the content and say don't buy the dip that's ridiculous now check this out we've seen the market in snowflake all right let me zoom in and one thing i tell everybody on my channel is you always want to look at the footprints of the volume volume tells you when money is moving right Volume tells you where are the people with the money, right? This is one of them right here. May the 26th, 2022. Look at all of that volume that came into Snowflake, right? So after we see that day, after it was concluded, we need to look at, okay, what's been going on? Because if the market in Snowflake was selling on that day, we would not be seeing the price trade sideways. If that was mostly selling that occurred on May the 26th, but instead the market in Snowflake traded sideways. Hmm. So what happened here on May the 26th obviously was somebody, what they term smart money, was buying the stock here. How do I know? Like I told you, the market didn't fall. If that was mostly selling, we would have expected the price of Snowflake to do this, right? To continue to fall because whoever sold on the 26 wanted to get out the play because they knew that the mark was going to fall further but that was not the case the price in snowflake did not continue to fall here we are today 
and the market actually is still trending sideways. We're still seeing, and now we're actually seeing the market actually move up. Hmm. See, the answers are already here. People just make it difficult because they want you to use a discount cash flow or eight pillars of success, and they want you to use some fundamental analysis, and it doesn't need, you don't need all that. All of that is pointless. So now, let me show you all the weekly chart. Okay, because you can see it again. You guys can see that the sentiment is changing in Snowflake. The market has bottomed. Now, my only issue, my only problem is the downtrend. Like, are we still in a downtrend in Snowflake? Today, yes, we are. So should we be massively bullish in this stock? Should we be? No, we should not be. And not only that, we have a near point restriction here in the market in Snowflake already. So I will say it's around this area. Okay. So let's keep it real. If we're going to expect the price to go up, okay, cool. We can expect that. But how high are you looking for it to go? How high? I'm giving you points as to where we can possibly see the market in Snowflake move. This is Snowflake on the two weeks. We still see strength in this space right now. We don't want to get caught holding the bag. Like that's something that we don't do here. We want to get in and get out at these locations so that we can run with the profit. That's the point of the game is to make the money. This is Snowflake on the three weeks, five weeks. Okay. Very, very powerful bar is being seen on a five weekly perspective. Look at this. This is very strong right there. Okay. It tells me that the market is, is trying to move up. They're trying to take price higher. Okay. Now that's five weeks. So we got to give the market at least another five weeks to let that play work. This is Snowflake on the monthly. We got four days and five hours left and we still this monthly price bar almost resembles the five weekly price bar. It looks the same. So do I think the market in Snowflake is about to move up? Yeah, I do. I think the market is about to continue its projection of going up. So now the only thing we need to try to answer is, OK, where? How high? Because my first area is around 160, 165. My second one maybe will be around 180. OK, and then once we continue to see these market moves higher, you're going to begin to see these other YouTubers create the content on stocks to buy. They're going to come back out, come out their holes and say, All right, these are the stocks that's going to move up, especially once this continuation of movement higher goes on. I already know of their game because right now, since the market has fallen, what, 65, 70, 80 percent. Now you don't see those videos that they were creating back in 2021. They quit talking about the best stocks to buy now because they don't know how this game is being played. So be careful because once they create those videos, could be the last opportunity before the market begins to go back down. You gotta get ahead of the game. So let me go out, go out and do this right here. I wanna look for the price in Snowflake to move up, right? So we're gonna play that. Now, I got this first horizontal line here, okay? That's gonna be my first price target. I'm gonna look for the market in Snowflake to move there first. So let me drop this. Okay. Now, as long as the market in Snowflake supports the price around 125, I'll I'm, I'll be cool with that. You know, if I see the market next week begin to come down, but we don't fall below 125 on weakness, we continue to hover it. Then the market begins to go back up. I'll live with that. Because it, it will still tell me that buyers are coming in the market right there around 120. So I won't be worried about it too much unless the market does this. Completely breaks. Then you have to let that play go. You have to let the idea of looking for snowflakes to move higher. You got to let it go. Because it's going to continue to break down to lower prices. Okay. Now, I'm looking at it right here first. Okay. This is my first price target, which will give us a 7% run. Okay, I get it. 7%. 
we're not here trying to take from the market we're going to simply receive what it's going to give to us if they're going to offer us seven and a half percent we got to take it if the market's not going to break above 160 165 we got to take the profitability there okay my second price target is going to be around 172 175 okay and then my third price target is going to be around 180 that gives us around 18.77 percent market move to the upside in price in snowflake all right so be careful we got a couple of restriction points already laid out on this chart the first one is already at 160 165 be prepared for that but the biggest problem is on this downtrend line okay keep your eyes focused on the downtrend line because if the market buyers get rejected right here and price begins to come back down we know that the long-term trend is still weakness don't fall for the information that you see on youtube don't fall for the information that you see on social media or even on mainstream media because they're going to still come out with the analysts and their recommendations of being of uh, snowflake being a buy and we pay attention to the money if they say it's a buy then we want to see the price do this break out if it don't do that we already know what the real is because money don't lie so let me know what your thoughts are right now in snowflake tell me where do you think the market price is about to go i do think that the price is trying to go up in, in price i have given you all my price targets now give me yours Make sure you maintain profitability and as always, trade different.